Good evening, North Carolina Prepper. Today, I was going to do a project that I needed some white glue for, and I didn't have any Elmer's glue, so I'm going to go ahead and make some glue. What you're going to need is a saucepan. You're going to need a strainer of some kind, cheesecloth, anything, I'm using that. Something to stir with, some baking soda, some white vinegar or distilled vinegar, a funnel, one and a half cups of milk, in this case it's uh, fat-free skim milk, measuring utensils and an empty thing to put your glue in when you're done which I may or may not do I'm gonna go ahead and dip some string in it for another project but still um, <clears throat> interesting note that the Egyptians did something like this and a lot of people do it nowadays where they take and mix uh, like powders in there and natural dyes and they, you can make paint this way and it'll work but this is this is called a casein glue that's how I'm pronouncing it it's spelled C-A-S-E-I-N, and, um, you know, it's a survival glue, I guess. You can always make up. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put the one and a half cups of milk in the pan, in the saucepan, and heat it up until it gets warm, and I'll be back once I get it warm. Actually, I'll go ahead and film it, and I'll just speed through it, so I'm going to add the milk. And I just want it warm to the touch, mostly to make the separation of the curds and whey a lot easier. Um, when this separates, you can actually take the whey and use it in like protein shakes, I think. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> but I'm going to go ahead and dump mine down the sink, because that's how I'm rolling today. Alright. Okay, we're warm now. <clears throat> so we're going to take three teaspoons of white vinegar. Teaspoons, five milliliters. Okay. Turn the heat off. And just stir until it all separates. As you can see, it's starting to separate there a bit. Let me go strain that real quick. Oh, you know, actually, I have just a little touch more vinegar. Didn't look like it was enough. So I have a little more vinegar. And that's what we got. Okay, so what we have left is whey. So, I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. In the... The cup. Oh wait. I'm gonna readjust the camera for you. Okay, this is where we stand now. Looks like an egg almost. I guess the rest of that liquid out. There we go. This is going to be our glue. We're going to add one tablespoon or 15 milliliters of baking powder to this. And just a little bit of water. The baking soda here. And the amount of water you add depends on the consistency you want. We're going to heat this up to boiling. This 
to the point where if we wanted to make paint, we would um, <clears throat> we would add the pigments. So we're gonna let this all send back down. And when it cools, that's when we're done. Turn the heat on too high. Puts it off for a minute while I keep stirring. Because we don't want it to get too hot too quick or it won't break back down. Run. Do that later. More water. There we go. Now we just want to heat that up to boiling, or bubbling, I should say. Make sure it's smooth and no lumps. And let me get this before it becomes a problem. That would be bubbling. Okay. So I'm going to turn this off now. Okay. There you go. That's mine's really thin because, like I said, I'm coating string in it. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do with mine, it's really hot. What I'm going to do with mine is I'm going to take and blow up some balloons and then coat the string in this and wrap the string all around the balloons and make cool designs. And when it dries and hardens, I'm going to pop the balloon. So. You know, however thick you want it is how much water you add. I need mine really runny. But there you go. A homemade uh, white casein glue. Um, it's like milk. Well, I guess it should. It's made from milk. Alright, well, please rate and subscribe. Please have a great day. Thanks. North Carolina Pepper out.